Today, we would like to uh, talk about a very interesting program that originated in South America, specifically in Brazil, and it's called Exporta Facil. And it's a program that has been expanding uh, throughout South America, thanks to uh, the generous collaboration and assistance of Brazil and other important actors in the region, including the restricted union, uh, the union, the postal union for Spain, uh, for the Americas, Spain and Portugal. The project was born through the designated operator under the coordination of the Ministry of Communications of Brazil and it was developed uh, together with other Brazilian authorities involved in the export process. This is an important aspect. It's not enough to introduce this type of project uh, with a designated operator alone. If other authorities involved in exports, such as customs, uh, small and medium-sized enterprises uh, are not involved uh, in the project. The export uh, project is a governmental project, not only a postal sector project. In Brazil, the designated operator wanted to provide this Exporter Facil service. Exporter Facil is the brand of the designated operator. There are other operators in Brazil who can benefit from this project, from Exporter Facil, and they use other brands as well. Since we introduced this project, some 10 years ago, uh, volumes have increased and continue to increase. We have exported, through Exporter Facil, through a simplified process, more than $1.8 billion. In 2012 alone, we have reached $170 million and we export to uh, numerous countries and some 12 million businesses use Exporta Facil in Brazil. For a small business, to export a container is very difficult. The postal logistics uh, ensure that all parts of a process uh, make it possible for small businesses to export. In various uh, pro products, the logistics uh, takes care of customs, transports the product to the country of destination right through to a final buyer. It's a very uh, successful project. Many countries ask Brazil to cooperate at a technical level with this project. Brazil wanted this project to be rolled out to other countries in South America. I don't know if you've heard of uh, Unisol, uh, the, the, the project became a priority for this organization through the Inter-American Development Bank, the IDB, which provided financial support to develop Exporta Facil, and Brazil provides technical coordination for its introduction of countries. In South America, we've introduced Exporta Facil in per Peru, Uruguay, Ecuador, Colombia, and it's currently being developed in Argentina, Chile, and Bolivia. It's a project which can help local economies and can help uh, the range of products being exported to be di diversified. Exporter Facil has the merit of uh, involving uh, new businesses in the export business and involving more products 
and diversifying the situation within the region. Last November, we've got a representative of the UPU here, he'll speak about this, but we signed a cooperation agreement between the Ministry of Communication of Brazil and the UPU to develop a methodology uh, and to introduce a program in other countries worldwide. There is an interest for international institutions such as APUAS from the UPU, WTO, and to give visibility to a project. And uh, the, the project uh, is interesting for other regions of the world. Now we'll move to an actual case where, uh, well, a second case in addition to Brazil, obviously, but a, a concrete case of Ecuador. Um, and I'll ask Mr. Tavana to tell us about uh, his experience uh, in his country with Exporta Fasi. Ecuador uh, has not uh, been using it for a year yet, but throughout this year, the Exporta Fasi service has been successful at the government level as well as the uh, most forgotten sectors of our country. That's to say, uh, craftsmen and small businessmen. This initiative, and we should thank our friends from Brazil for this, this wonderful idea which uh, involves governments and craftsmen, and in some countries in the region, uh, it's been really successful at all levels. In Ecuador, throughout 11 months, the service has been uh, launched now. It's been in, there are some 5,000 exports which have uh, been successfully uh, conducted. We've generated some $1 million uh, through Exporta Facil. And clearly, it's a service which everyone's happy with because it's growing on a daily basis. It's growing really in an exponential manner in the country. Craftsmen are joining Exporta Facil and there's no need for major advertising. The Ecuadorian Post has not had sufficient uh, resources to invest uh, money exclusively in this export of facile service. But despite this, the result has been extraordinary. In no province of Ecuador, no province has uh, people not being interested in it. The craftsmen are involved in every province. The Ecuadorian government has uh, looked on favorably on this initiative and this service continues to uh, develop and grow. And it's to the benefit of craftspeople, but it's also to the benefit of a people who receive the ex Ecuadorian products which are exported. This uh, stimulates uh, people to export. There is an economic advantage of exporting through this channel. And during the first six months, there was a cost of some 50% reduction in the export tariff. The Ecuadorian government has wanted to set out in black and white the figures and they wanted to introduce this system to uh, reduce the cost of exporting so that the service could be sustainable over time. We've provided a response to the Ecuadorian government and we are seeking to uh, increase exports three or fourfold compared to the current rates. For revenue for a country, in figures, we're thinking for every million we invest in exporting, 
The country could receive seven to ten million dollars in return. These are the figures. And I think this is an extraordinary service which can benefit all parties, not only crass people, but the government and the country and the post. We too have increased our volumes thanks to Exporta Facil. And also the people who buy the Ecuadorian products in other countries. As Rosemary said, I think the introduction is positive. We are pleased with the Exporter Facil service. Thank you. Uh, now I'll ask uh, Alessandro uh, from UPU headquarters in Switzerland to um, tell us a little bit about the UPU strategy for helping the member countries expand uh, with these types of programs. We, at the UPU level, we have an obligation to act as a center of excellency to the world. To be in a position to do so, we have to look at all of the best initiatives and projects around the world initiated by personal organization and see how at the UPU level we can add more value to national initiatives to make it worldwide solution throughout the postal network. The challenge for us, postal, uh, individual postal organizations, UPU International Bureau, it's more or less the same in the trade area because it is about delivering economic and social development, focusing on the need of countries, countries that are striving to boost their exportation, creating employment, creating health for the economy. We also focus on companies that are striving to export, to have more access to excellent foreign markets. We focus also on citizens because they want to access goods from anywhere in the world. Therefore, we have to take the individual initiatives at country level, study them and add value to them to make it a universal postal network solution to the world, to the people worldwide, to companies worldwide. I was fortunate enough to go to Brazil to work with the people there to understand what it is, what is exporter facile. I went also to some other countries that have adopted exporter facile to see what they are doing with Exporter Facil, if also there are experiences, some difficulties that we may address all together to make it the best solution for the industry, for the economy. You may all know that there will never be an easy export solution if there is no easy import solution. If you send a good from one country and in a transit country, the, good are, uh, the goods are stranded. Or in the destination country, there are bottlenecks. Then that's a problem to the exporting company. And that, unfortunately, happens from time to time due to specific national regulations or difficulties 